another suspected anti-Semitism attack in Southern California, and this time a man is caught on camera throwing a heavy object at a synagogue. And now it is news reporter Carlos Grande is live in Pico Robertson with reaction from Jewish leaders on yet another act of hatred directed at the Jewish community. Carlos. And that's right, police investigators were just here. They left just a short while ago, and they are investigating this attack that occurred early this morning. Now, people here say what first happened is that this suspect broke a window at a nearby restaurant and then tried to do the same thing here at the synagogue. The surveillance video shows this suspect outside the young Israel of Century City Synagogue. He's carrying a box and is then seen pulling out a heavy piece of concrete and throws it at a window. The first time he attempted to hit to break the, the window, it actually ricocheted because Rabbi Muskin said it's a very strong shadowproof glass. And you can see like he was surprised that it actually didn't go through. And he picked up again, threw it at the next window, it ricocheted again, and then he decided to leave. It happened at around 1 this morning. People here say other portions of the video shows the suspect also attacking this restaurant right across the street from the synagogue. Today, one window is boarded up. I've never seen such a public manifestation of anti-Semitism and hatred in the streets of our city as we're seeing today. Uh, this is a time of, uh, of a great uh, concern for Jewish communities the world over. There have been several incidents aimed at the Jewish community. A group of pro-Palestinians attacked several Jewish men who were eating at the Sushi Fumi restaurant on La Cienega Boulevard. There have been arrests and it's now being investigated by police as a hate crime. America is the place where all the anti-Semites and all the perpetrators now live. What a great tragedy. People here say they have experienced anti-Semitism before, but politicians need to be stronger to condemn this now. This will not deter anyone from attending this synagogue and our mission of being an Orthodox Jewish house of worship in Los Angeles. We take our mission very seriously and we will not be frightened by any act by anyone. And people here say they will be cautious this weekend. There will be extra security for the Sabbath. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.